to the 100th episode of Good to Know. Are you ready to party? We are celebrating with some of the most positive people from across the country. We got our ducks in a row. From surfing seniors. Everything is just gone and it's a group of friends playing and laughing in the waves. To American heroes. To be honored like this, I just can't believe. I'm just so thrilled that such a thing is happening. We're sharing some pretty special moments. When all is said and done, you're going to have like a huge hand in getting us to Mars. Do you ever like think <laughs> about that? Like that is... That blows my mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have some laughs along the way, too. Hey, everyone, and welcome. I'm your host, Michelle Macaluso. And today's show is packed with awesome stories that are definitely good to know. Oh, this is exciting. I was so touched by the fact that anyone would ever be that sweet to keep looking after 10 years. Like, that to me was amazing. I'm sorry. Your spirits are lifted. You feel like a little kid again. Small things, simple things. Like they can make a difference. That was my spark. The future is, is absolutely looking bright. It was pretty sweet just to see people smile, spread some more kindness around. I feel like that's the golden ticket right there. I, I don't think there's anything better in life. We love having fun, spreading positive messages and learning along the way. And these California Golden Girls embody everything we love to celebrate. People stop us and say, you guys are so cute. Now, they're obviously <laughs> saying that because we're old. Do not let these women in their 60s to mid-90s fool you. They have a lot of what you can call beach cred in their books. Three of us that have been now boogie boarding for 19 years. That's right. Fran, Carol, and Naslin are just three of a few dozen women who have made up Fletcher Cove's group of senior boogie boarders for the past two decades. You just need a board. You need to be comfortable in the water. And... It doesn't take a lot of skill. I think for women our age, the biggest problem is sometimes our knees are a little wobbly. It all started with newcomer San Diego, a group that connects senior women. And in a city where endless sunshine meets coastline, the perfect pairing washed ashore. One day we said, I said, hey guys, we get out of here at 1030. Why don't we just go to the beach? Let's just take our boogie boards and go ride a few waves together because boogie boarding by yourself is kind of boring. And that's how we started. And we have been doing it ever since. Sure, the pandemic put a little break in their wave. Before the pandemic, we would stay at the beach and socialize. But now we walk down on our mask. We put our stuff down. We don't socialize as much. But it was no wipeout. After a stint of beach closures, these ladies were right back out. They still meet nearly three times a week and even get their own surf report before each session. I send an email out to 60 people every Sunday saying, this is what the waves are like. This is the temperature this week. There's something about the salt water that just makes you feel alive. The waves are loud. You can talk to anyone. Your joints feel limber. Your spirits are lifted. You feel like a little kid again. They say it's the perfect dose of medicine beyond any prescription a doctor could write. You're just a group of people that forget about your age, forget about COVID, forget about how you look. Everything is just gone and it's a group of friends playing and laughing in the waves. From the surf to the snow, our storytellers are always surprising us, just like this woman in Kentucky. A snow day and a random gadget found around the house. So I found this in my basement and what it does is you scoop up snow and it makes little ducks. Led to a pretty ducky afternoon for 16 year old Jenna Utterback. It's a little duck. What started out as something silly to do to fill her time turned into a chance to spread some smiles. And I made a TikTok about it and it started getting lots of likes and sort of went a little viral. And people were like, you need to go put these on cars and get people's reactions and stuff. 
Due to her handiwork, little snow ducks began popping up all around Flemingsburg. We've been at the library, at the gas station, on the pumps. Okay, so we're going to go put snow ducks on people's cars. And also online via TikTok. We got our ducks in a row. First, it was just the ducks. She'd watch from afar as people discovered the quacktastic figures. I was sort of just sitting back and watching them so they wouldn't know who it was. I got lots of smiles. People still don't know who it was, so but I guess they will know. And then she added notes just to spread some extra smiles and kindness. We also made little cards to put with them this time. On TikTok, the videos reached far beyond Fleming County, gaining over 2.6 million views. Some people have never seen snow, so they're like, oh my gosh, I love that. It was pretty sweet just to see people smile, spread some more kindness around. Showing it doesn't take much to spread some positivity, whether it's right in your own pond or beyond. Our 100th episode, we wanted to celebrate other people's milestones too. And this Michigan vet is being honored for an outstanding achievement. I really am proud of being a private first class, doing the job the country asked me to do. Mr. Robert Simonick is 90 years old, and he's lived in Oakland County for a very long time. But so much of his journey in life is a monumental part of American history. We're all a, a big damn group of people that love our country and we need to serve as our country asks us to do. Mr. Semenik enlisted in the Marine Corps in the 1950s and served in the Korean War. This veteran received notable medals of honor for his countless sacrifices in combat and for his loyalty and respect for the men who fought alongside him. At the tender age of 22, the private first class and his squad was ambushed by Chinese troops. Simonik was seriously hurt, suffering severe leg injuries, but what ailed him did not stop him from being selfless. Simonik threw himself on a grenade to save his friends, comrades from harm. To me, it was something that just had to be done. And he received the Medal of Honor from President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, the, the whole idea of that happening and Mr. Eisenhower. And the recognition for his valor and prowess is still being acknowledged to this day with a brand new U.S. Navy ship that will bear his name. The expeditionary sea base USS Robert E. Simonick. I couldn't believe it and that the ship being named with my name on it to me is just so unbelievable because I think of some other guys I know that had the Medal of Honor also. The ship is set to be complete in 2024 and will perform a multitude of pivotal duties across the globe. My ship with a name Simonek on it. To be honored like this, I, I, I just can't, can't believe. I, I'm just so thrilled that such a thing is happening. What an incredible and well-deserved honor for Mr. Simonek to share with his family and friends and for the world for years and years to come. Thank you for your service, sir, and God bless. Our 100th episode extravaganza is just getting started. We have so much more to celebrate. I'm telling you, this dog had a guardian angel. None of us are ever going to know who that guardian angel is, but he had one. This incredible story is definitely good to know.